Convertry works on a system of sites which contain funnels which contain pages. Funnels can function as collections of pages, useful if you have multiple products or sales processes. So, in the dashboard, click on Sites in the left-hand menu, then click your site name. Click on the funnel you wish to edit, or click on Add Funnel, enter a new name for your funnel, and click OK. The Funnel Builder contains all your pages and is where you can see and edit your funnel. These page cards are your pages. They update with any changes you save so you can see your whole site at a glance. In the bottom left hand corner of the page card is the conversion rate. This will only display if your page is published and has a form attached, e.g. you are set up to receive signups or product purchases. In the bottom right hand corner of the page card is the arrow button. Click to add a new arrow and drag it to another page card. This will add the page to a list of suggestions for page redirects, making it easier to link up thank you and upsell pages. In the top right hand corner of the page card is the three dot menu. Click to expand the options. Edit opens the page builder. You can also do this just by clicking the page card. Rename lets you give the page another name. Clone copies the page and its contents under a new page name. Delete deletes the page. You'll be asked if you're sure. Move to lets you move the page to a different site or funnel. Preview opens the page to preview even if it's unpublished. Copy published link copies the URL of the published page to the clipboard. Restore gives you a list of previous save versions and lets you revert the changes. Conversion details lets you view conversion details and choose which of your page's links and forms count towards the conversion rate. Start the split test starts the split test on this page. Export lets you export the page to HTML or JSON. Share gives you a share code which you can use to share the page with other Convertry users. And Unpublished takes your page offline without deleting it from your site.